Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. Today I'm going to do an update on our goldfish fry. They have survived, they've been growing really really well. So I thought that I would do a video from start to where they are now. So as you can see here, these are the eggs that are on the leaf and they were on the bottom of the tank. And it was our ranchos that spawned. This is one of the little fry the day it hatched. And it took them two days to hatch. I only took five eggs off a leaf just to see if they would hatch and to then follow that process through and to be honest I really didn't think they would so it was quite a surprise when we did end up with three little fry. So this is them at a week old and as you can see they're all the same size and at this point we had just started feeding them the baby brine shrimp. We did have some issues at the very beginning getting the brine shrimp eggs to hatch and so I fed the Rapashi um, Soliant Green gel food and that did seem to be okay for the first few days. They did eat it and then eventually we did manage to get into a cycle of the brine shrimp eggs hatching and so we have literally been constantly running a hatchery ever since because boy can these little guys eat. We started them off for the first week in a 2.5 gallon and as there were only three of them, we felt that that would be okay. We did only keep them in there for one week whilst we were then just able to monitor them a lot easier. I did do very regular, very small water changes just to make sure that everything was okay in the tank. Unfortunately, the camera didn't want to focus on them very well, so a lot of the early footage I've got of them, it's not that clear, but hopefully what I have got gives you an idea of just how tiny they were. It's just been absolutely amazing watching these guys grow. They grow so quickly. This is the second week and as you can see now there is becoming a difference in their sizes and as we only have three we really didn't know whether they would survive or they wouldn't because normally obviously you would have a much bigger batch but because I only collected a few eggs then obviously we've only ended up with a few fry but they are doing very well at this point and they are eating extremely well. It just amazes me how much they actually eat. We've been feeding them three times a day with the baby brine shrimp and they just seem to spend that whole time grazing and eating and you can see sort of like their little stomachs are a sort of bulging and the pinky colour and that is them just full of the baby brine shrimp. So here we are at week three and again a massive difference in the smaller one to the bigger ones. The smaller one does not seem to be doing very well. I'm beginning to wonder if it's actually got deformity in its mouth. Uh, when I'm watching it eating it seems to have an awful lot of trouble picking the food up. So at this point we're not sure if this one's going to survive but the other two are doing amazingly well. Once we got into a routine with the brown shrimp hatchery, it was fairly easy. I'm not quite sure why the first few batches we tried didn't hatch, but the ones after that we've had no issue with at all. It's very simple to do. You just add your water and we put prime conditioner in. You add some salt, put the eggs in, put a light over it and then you do need a temperature of 78 to 82 degrees which our house typically runs at so we haven't had too many issues with the temperature being too cool for them to hatch. I don't know whether you can see them in this little dish. I did just drain it and you can see them all swimming around in there. You can store them in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours and then I just use a straw to take them out and then put them into the tank. After the first week we did move them into a 10 gallon tank and we also added a small sponge filter so that we could start filtration. We did put it on just very very low so that there was minimal water surface movement. 
In the 10 gallon tank, we only had the water filled maybe four inches because you can't do it too deep because they need to be able to get to the water surface. So over the next few weeks, we will start to slowly increase it. But at this point, it is only at about four inches deep. It was becoming more and more evident throughout week three that the little one wasn't growing. I would spend so much time watching him try and eat and he just didn't seem to be able to get the food in. So he was just getting thinner and thinner and unfortunately he didn't actually make it. So we are just down to now the two bigger ones. We're now at about three and a half weeks old and I wanted to start to try and transition them onto other foods because they're just eating such large quantities of the baby brine shrimp and apparently they do get to a point that they will sort of, the growth will slow a lot if they just stay on that. So we decided to get some Daphnia and it was suggested to me that if you give it to them first thing in the morning when they're really, really hungry, then they're more likely to accept it. So we did try that and there was a lot of taking it in and spitting it out in the beginning, but then they eventually did get the hang of it. And so ever since then, they've now been on Daphnia in the morning and then they get baby brine shrimp for the rest of the day. This last week I have seen huge growth in them and I think that's because obviously we've changed the food and also I did go to 50% water changes every day and I do think that that has made a big difference. So that brings us right up to today. They're actually four weeks old tomorrow but I wanted to do the video today so I have taken this footage this morning and this is them as at today. Day. So like say four weeks old tomorrow, but we're going to call it four weeks. So this will be the last time we will do the comparison in the little tiny cup. But you can see that they have gone from this to this in just four weeks. I just think it's absolutely amazing seeing how fast they actually grow. So as with the parents, this breeder box will now become their point of reference for size. We did that with all our goldfish. We put them in this breeder box and then we were able to assess their growth over time. This is their dad and you can see the size of him and this is the same size breeder box. And then this is mom. So mom is Pip, dad is Ollie and they are both ranchos. If you actually look closely at the baby, you will see that one does have mom shape and one does have dad shape so it's going to be interesting to see how they develop over the coming weeks they do still have a long way to go and hopefully they will continue to thrive we do plan on continuing to do 50% water changes every day and then every few weeks we will increase the amount of water that is in the 10 gallon tank we have already done a treatment for gill flukes and we do plan on doing another one on them very soon. We will also be trying to introduce different foods over the next few weeks and eventually wean them off the baby brine shrimp. Okay guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give these little cuties a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.